recognize them somehow. What the hell is this place? They're screaming at me. I don't hear them, but I know they're screaming. You got anything? Such hate and anger. I hope you bastards are looking up once in a while. Those fuckers might be anywhere. I don't know what I have done to them. This place is so damn dark. Sleepers. They want me to feel what they feel. This is good, man. This is good stuff. It'll trade. Everything trades. Oh, fuck. To be honest, any second, keep your eyes on that door. Ah, shit, there's fucking loads of them. Then I wake up. I'm not sweating or screaming. I'm perfectly calm. I just open my eyes and I'm awake. And it's not a nightmare. It's just part of me, who I am. I don't fight it. I just live around it. What the hell? <sighs> Thank you.
to you. <gasps> Shit, nice move! More or less from the get-go, the entirety of Hope County is yours to explore however you like, whether by truck, helicopter, or fast travel wingsuit airdrop. And there's a lot to discover. Poking around its wooded trails might reveal prepper caches protected by puzzles or challenges or wolverines. Or you might find signposts that reveal picturesque cliffs from which you can go wingsuiting. You might even discover a plaque commemorating the impossible deeds of 70s daredevil Clutch Nixon, at which point you'll be able to, say, recreate his literally on fire rally run through sprinkler checkpoints that delay your inevitable explosion. As with any Far Cry game, however, some of the best moments come from the unpredictability of the world itself. When you've got cultists, vehicles, fire, and extremely violent animals all running amok at once, it only takes a second for a mission to go from high-tension stealth to berserk carnage because that incendiary arrow missed a cult VIP and hit a bull instead. Far Cry 5 also expands one of the best parts of earlier games, scouting out enemy outposts, methodically hunting down all of their defenders, and claiming the compounds for your side. Not only are outposts everywhere in Hope County, clearly marked by columns of black smoke, but all across the map you'll find prominent citizens under siege by the cult. Name's Grace. Helping them push back and reclaim what's theirs will convince them to join you in battle, or at least give you more intel about the cult's activities. As you reclaim territory from the cult, destroy their property, and generally interfere with their plans, you'll fill a resistance meter for the region you're in. Each region of Hope County has four levels of resistance, and when you hit a new tier, the cult will step up its armaments and tactics. Once a rebel's property is back under their control, you'll be able to recruit them to follow you into battle as a gun for hire, giving them orders with the D-pad and using their skills to help push back the cultists. In addition to the unique story characters, guns for hire also include locals looking to fight back, and each outpost you liberate will unlock at least one fresh-faced combatant who will hang around, ready and eager to watch your back. While you're living in D.C., we have to set some ground rules when your brother comes to stay with you. I've been patient with you, Aiden. We need those schematics by 10 a.m. tomorrow, or else we need... Mark, it's your responsibility. Come on, Aiden. Aiden, this is your mother. Pick up the phone. Aiden, pick up the phone, man. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden.
a proper biosphere for humanoid settlers. Following our directive, we should reach this planet as soon as we are prepared to face possible hazards in that area. Making progress here. Come 
Storm gets her! We're making progress here! Everything we built was meant for you. What we can't pass down to you, you'll reclaim for yourself. Our legacy will guide you, if you choose to follow it. Over time, you'll forge your own. You were born for this. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.
I got eyes, 170 south. Copy 170 south. AC, uh, AC, reinforce Aaron. To your south. 190, uh, Equinox. Or AC, on your right, 20 meters. Other side of... Got him, he's down. Shoot, Nick. Need a medic. Copy. Okay, movement again, due west, tree line. Their route, their OP is going to be up at 280, 290. They're moving south from that position. Be all you, Annie. Coming from the left. Line to my left. Open fire. To our left. To our left. Line to my left. Open fire, guys. Fit in. Oh, 
Watch your right flank, guys on my right. and improve their accuracy, as well as altering our on-screen weapon placement to improve vision whilst fragging. As we previously experienced issues in which players were thrown off by our high amounts of horizontal recoil. In Alpha 0.3 this largely affects both the MP40 and the Thompson, which have also had their animations, sound and balance updated. Along with this, we've also updated our M1 Garant, so you'll be experiencing a lot more vertical recoil when firing at higher rates, but it also should mean that you're able to create a really good firing rhythm. We're also adding another set of weapons into Alpha 0.3 in the form of our carbines. As expected, these two weapons present high rates of fire with medium damage output, so feel free to use these weapons throughout the weekend and give us your feedback. Our Manor House map has also had some changes as we have opened up another area of the map by adding a courtyard to slightly increase the size. Along with this we've updated our foliage to be higher quality, better optimised and we've also updated our collision value. With your feedback we plan to continuously increase the size of our Manor House map. So for V2 we've done this by altering and extending B long and added another building for players and opened up a room within the Manor House. With Alpha 0.2 you'll be able to play the shotgun. We're all super interested to see the impact that the shotgun has on gameplay and player behaviour. So good luck and happy fragging with it. We've implemented a way to remove the frustration of old school pain, prone block. There should no longer be any situation where you want to just go to prone but can't. Your player model will hopefully adjust to the environment around it. We have worked on a fair few animation tweaks but the biggest one will be to... hard surfaces and will allow the attacker and defender to better predict bounce angles of grenades. The last main thing is that the server browsers have hopefully been fixed but that still requires a lot of testing from you guys. You know we lost people. Last time I was here I knew guys they go out outside the wire for a patrol or whatever and they just never came back. It's kind of unreal. Like one day, they're just gone. So I get it. I really do. I know why you have to do this. And that's why I wanted to come with you. Gotta make sure we don't die though, right? <laughs> 